So we are on hideout. So yeah, Jordan says scared. Viper says you have four range. Does Jordan have four range? What? Yes. Step scout? I don't know what's going on here, guys. To be honest, this is all going over my head. We're still early days here. 18 pop for both players. This is hideout, so you start kind of close together as the crow flies, but there's this big wood line in between, and you have to walk all the way around to get some damage. Um, yeah, it's an interesting map. It's an interesting map. A bit like arena, except it's only palisade walls, so easier to do damage. Um, maybe to go for tower rushes as well, a bit more feasible. It's uh, Viper here playing as the Goths in yellow. Jordan playing as the Sicilians in blue. So, yeah. Sicilians the better booming sieve for sure. Super, super late game. Might fancy the Goths just with the spam, right? Sicilians, their best play is Hauberk Cavalier, but... And they take less bonus damage, right? But if Viper can just spam Albadir, maybe that gets the job done. And maybe Jordan will have to go for um, First Crusade, right? To get some um, to get some sergeants out on the map to support his Cavalier. That might be the play later on. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Mushroom Forest map. Jordan definitely has the superior sieve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm... Step and slot you. What's up? Great matchup. Should be interesting. Should be interesting. I think sergeants might make the difference. Um, but let's see. Let's see. It's going to be about windows and timing, I think. Um, let's see. I wouldn't be surprised if Jordan went for some donjon. Actually, no. If it was Viper playing the Sicilians, I wouldn't be surprised at seeing some forward donjon kind of plays. Um, but I don't think Jordan will go for that until later on. Very much likes to play meta. Uh, we saw the most meta use of melee in the last game. Viper, yeah, more experimental, likes to have fun. Jordan, all business. Interesting to see what happens on this Man at Arms Towers map. It's all about Windows, Bill Gates. Yeah, I got microchip, guys. Too many uh, vaccines, you know how it goes. <clears throat> stop the steal. Okay, I'll stop now. Um... Okay, um, yeah, nothing really happening here. Nothing really happening. Jordan on the way to Feudal, almost there. This looks like a very decent fast castle time for him. Uh, Sicilian starting with extra stone, which is kind of tasty as Jordan goes for market blacksmith. So maybe, uh, I don't think he'll need to actually, as he queues two vills. Uh, Viper going up a bit later, but he will have a stronger economy. Um, Sicilians with their farm bonus, they generate, uh, they get more food on their farms, right? Which is tasty. Is he fast imping this? Viper, you mean? Maybe. Maybe. I'm not familiar with the numbers that you need to have in Feudal. Sorry, in Dark Age going for a fast imp build. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's see. 27 pop is not fast imp. Okay. Arm upgrades give Sicilians double the extra food. That is correct. Which is tasty for booming. So yeah, Jordan has an incentive to sit back and boom here. I don't think he's going to be too scared of the goth late game. Uh, so I think Viper might have to make something happen. Viper going for stable market. So he wants to compete for the relics. Okay. There's one right outside uh, Viper's base. Another one right outside Viper's base. And another one right outside Viper's base. Jordan with two convenient relics for him. Let's look at the scouting. Um, good scouting by Jordan in terms of the relics. He sported... He sp Spotted the two ones closer to him and two close to the Viper. Just missing this one. Um, let's see. Let's see. Uh, Jordan going up to Castle Age. Now double bed axes in. Castle Age closer than it is for the Viper. Viper getting his farming upgrade now. Yeah. If you're Sicilians, you just have to get your farming upgrades. Basically, it's a scandal. It's a scandal if you don't. Okie dokie. House coming up for the Viper. Not really interesting, is it? <laughs> so let's see. Uh, yeah, let's see if Jordan goes straight for a monastery to compete for these relics and how many TCs he wants to drop. We'll drop at least one right off the bat. Okie dokie. Remember that Goths for a 27 pop build is in effect 26 pop due to instant loom. Yes, that's true. Thanks, Rooster. Okay. Jordan is up first. He's going to build his TC. 
Uh, Sicilians building their TCs and castles twice as fast, which is tasty. And yeah, we have the farm upgrade, Bosaw coming in now for Jordan as well. So yeah, he'll be feeling pretty good here. Um, I don't think either player has done any misplays or <laughs> anything like that so far. Nothing really crazy has happened. Nothing really crazy has happened at all. Um, right. Delos, hello. Want to learn how to play closed map on a high level C clip? Okay. Must check that out. I'll take uh, I'll take learning to play a closed map at low level at this stage. Learning anything. Oh, Kidoki, what's happening now? Viper dropping his second TC and Viper producing scouts. So a similar opening to the last game, almost. Viper a bit later up to Castle Age, but with production of scouts. Really wants to compete for the relics as he is chasing Jordan's scout away. Okay. As uh, Viper being annoying with his scout here, just knocking at the door. Maybe just kind of force one villager of idle time, which is a pain in the ass. As Viper is now getting a third TC up, okay. Jordan still hasn't done that. Um, so yeah, Viper's later uptime maybe, maybe, maybe enabling him to get the TCs up a bit faster as well. Um, as Jordan, yeah, continuing to drop farms. These farms will last a long, long time though, so that's good for him. But still, bending his wood on farms apparently so doesn't care about the second tc yet our third tc i should say as viper gets heavy plow and light cow so he really really wants the relics uh, okay so maybe viper is the one playing this a bit more meta as jordan goes for a tc on the stone okay um yeah thinking about sergeants maybe at some stage monk comes over to maybe get a conversion but viper with map control as he spotted the other relics now he has one two three four five yeah we've seen all of the relics Gonna come out to this one and take it. And he will just guard these relics with light cav. And yeah, good play. Very, very good play. Jordan has added the monastery, of course, but I don't see him getting any of the relics here. He's not even competing as he's going for a wheelbarrow now. And his third TC is up. So he's, at the end of the day, he's two, uh, two villagers up here. Jordan and Viper both with a bit of idle time. Viper with not enough farms to keep production going and certainly not with the uh, production of light cab and the upgrade as well. So yeah, his uh, TC production suffering a little bit because of that. Um, needs six TCs per farm to keep villager production going, at least until he gets wheelbarrow. Um, and yeah, Jordan's eco is shaping up a little bit better here. Jordan could go for a fourth TC soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that was the plan, like delaying the second TC a bit to get more farms out so then you can drop a third and a fourth here we go good call by brontosaurus um good call viper's the number one relic collector among pros okay i think nilly was saying on twitter again um that um he's gonna have lots of funky statistics for nilly apart nilly's apartment cup four which is starting in in march right yeah We should get all an updated version of that. Uh, and I know they had it for some of the, the hidden cups. Like they had like most doubt castle player, most likely to get the relics, most likely to skip this or that resource or that upgrade. It's really nice. What about... I wonder what Jordan is making TCs for. I don't know. Because <laughs> he feels like a Koalolo, all right? Oh. All right, Jordan now going to climb ahead in the villager count. Slowly but surely. Viper now getting wheelbarrow. And yeah, Jordan should be feeling pretty good here. But Viper will, yeah, end up picking up all the relics here. And yeah, where's the extra gold? The gold outside here is a bit exposed. Viper's still hanging around with light cab, just guarding this gate. Uh, monk is still inside. He's just... Yeah, Viper just checking if that monk is still there. That's fine. And now run away. So he's, yeah, feeling pretty confident to get all the relics here. Monk is coming. And yeah, we'll have all of them. Nice. So let's see what Jordan can do here. He does have a secondary gold out here, and this area seems kind of important for maybe Jordan to drop a castle. Look at all the res that this is guarding. Stone, gold, stone, gold, so yeah. And obviously guarding a choke point out here towards Viper's base, so... I think this will be a very important area for Jordan going forward. He might even wall the other side and look to get a push going. Let's see. 
fourth TC for Viper coming up on stone. Um, obviously stone important for the gods to uh, get their unique upgrades, unique techs to kind of reach their full potential of spammage. Anyway. Wait, this is an Omega Civ win late game for Sicilians. Sergeants with Crusade push are insane. Yeah, we were saying that at the start. Uh, Dustin, what's up? What's up, what's up? Hand card in for Jordan. Yeah, I think Sergeants are going to be the... Uh, the game winner here. It's all about the timing. Um, yeah, Jordan will just add more TCs. It's five maximum, right? Seven, seven sergeants out of a maximum of five TCs with resistance to conversion. Uh, the first crusade upgrade, so yeah. That's probably what he will go for. God's getting a hand cannon, though. And maybe Viper will be thinking about that as well. Um, so, yeah. God's not without answers, I would say. But let's see. And cannons, yeah, brand source. Uh, still favor Sicilians. I think so as well. A slight favor, though. I don't think it's hard Civ win. Um, but yeah. Okay, Viper being annoying now and delaying Jordan's castle. <laughs> so annoying. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so irritating. <laughs> as Jordan really wants this castle. Okay, Viper still clicking. Oh, my goodness. When he starts again. This is Age of Empires of the highest level. What is this? Did he get a vill? I think if you're Jordan, you let him get one of the villagers. And then you just finish the castle. Convert the villager back. I think that's the strat. He's obviously not faced up against this before. Uh, but Jordan now getting the infantry upgrades. So yeah, that's telling us something. It needs to add another TC though to get full, uh, full bang for his buck with the... Uh, with the Flemish Revolution. Viper gonna castle this choke point. Jordan going for barracks out this way. Okay. As even as the Sicilians, this is taking a while to go up. Oh my god. Who said Sicilian castles go up fast? Yeah, it depends. It's one of those things where it depends, right? Um, Goth can instantly pop out a ton of Halb or Huskar. That's true. They have okay late game, but is still mostly relies on infantry spam with other units just as counter to counter yeah let's see let's see what viper can do here he's slowed down jordan a bit um, i'm not sure if jordan wants to get any of the upgrades yet is the first crusade the it's the imperial age tech right Alberk is castle age okay as we see the fifth tc um jordan might want to try and work his way to being pop capped though because when you research first crusade it doesn't matter if you're pop capped you will get those 30 units so if he gets up to 230 pop that can be very difficult even for the goth to stop and jordan is going for onager here okay interesting interesting as viper is going for a siege workshop of his own and some archery ranges and some barracks okay interesting albrick is imp tech castle age tech is first crusade okay Renting the TC on stone with the Lycav. That's a good point. That's a good point. As I'm hearing some attacks happening. Where is this? Am I going blind again? Um, okay. Viper over here building houses as this monk is being chased away. That's the attack notifications we heard. As Jordan is adding some pikemen and onager. It's just going to be siege. Siege pike push by Jordan as the Sicilians. Okay. As Viper is walling in the wood line. Okay. That's damage right there. Value. Uh, Viper, on the other hand, is going to go for pikemen of his own. What is he making in these siege workshops? Maybe rams? It's going to be ram pike, or everyone is just going for onager pike. First crusade coming in for Jordan. Feels a bit early. I would wait till he has more trebs out, right? I don't... Mm, I'm not sure about this. I'm not sure. He doesn't even have elite uh, sergeant. But maybe he's really worried about Viper getting uh, the jump on him with a lot of spam. Anyway, let's see. No way Viper goes Cav. Yeah. Maybe he just wants some units out on the field, right? It doesn't matter what they are. Just get the numbers out. Um, what about? Okay, as we have 35 Sergeant now. Uh, plate Mail Armor is in. Arson is in. Uh, okay. Oh, he went for the Onager Cut. Of course. It all makes sense. Viper saw it coming as well. I didn't realize that was happening. As the Sergeant arrived underneath the castle. And that's no bueno. 
on Azure, getting some hits here. Yeah, sick play by the Viper. Yeah. Okay. Viper now walling these units into his own base. As he's gonna go for a trap here. Trap here, Viper? Maybe? No? Okay. Um. Okay. S not elite sergeants coming in here. So nice play by Jordan. Nice idea. I didn't see that coming at all. Like, why is he making Onager? Obviously, it's to cut through. Um, okay, Onager putting pressure on the TC. Viper is just making hand cannoneers now. Okay, we talked about that a little bit already. Um, Jordan with plenty of res, though. Plenty of res, but only 19 sergeants left. Seems like they've been a bit ineffective. This castle from Viper doing so much work. That was definitely a, a reaction. Um, a reaction castle. I don't think he would have put this there anyway. But yeah, outpost here to check for the top through as well. So great awareness by the Viper. Uh, sergeants arriving on this TC. I think they might be able to take it out. Trying to stop the villagers from garrisoning, maybe. Okay. And cannoneers here for the Viper. Okay, doing all right, but need to be microed. Not in big numbers yet. As Jordan built a house here because reasons. Um, Onager going to be decent against this composition as well. Um, as we have elite skirmisher now for Jordan. So yeah, not really the game we thought we would get. But anyway, it's very interesting. Um... Forcing 50 bills to idle is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Jordan now has the full upgrades for... No, he doesn't have the last attack upgrade. But other than that, they're elite sergeants. Um, also, his units are resistant to conversion. Not that it really matters much at this stage. As uh, Jordan continues to cut around here. Needs to be careful. Uh, Pikeman incoming. Maybe he can get a shot. Let's see. Nope. And yeah, this onager should go down. So, good play in the end by the Viper. He is holding. 138 builds for him, 133 for Jordan. Uh, Racer coming in, crop rotation. I just wonder if this was the time for... Uh, as Viper gets a very nice uh, shot there with the Bombard Cannon. Two builds and a Gate Foundation. We'll work on this Treb. Whether that was the best timing for uh, Flemish... Or not Flemish, First Crusade. I'm not sure. As uh, there's some uh, sergeants here to clean up the pikes. Okie dokie. Still fancy Jordan's position here a lot. Uh, obviously, the skirms are a decent answer to, uh, to the hand cannoneers, to the halbs. And then you have the sergeants kind of for everything else. I think it was probably the best time. He forced a massive reaction, I guess. But I think it could have been more devastating later on. I don't know. It was a massive reaction as we see Viper going into the militia line now we saw him getting men at arms but yeah this might be over already Jordan just with a fantastic push here sergeant's trying to take out this uh, bomber cannon do a good job and yeah everything else should just die to skirms which are guarding the trebs so yeah feels bad feels bad still wide open here by the way as we have elite huskarl okay viper didn't really get a spam going so maybe he can try and spam huskarl into the base here it's wide open still no gates for anyone uh, but Viper being pushed heavily on this side. Da -da -da -da. Hey, Jordan going for a castle back here. This will go up. Build super fast. Fun fact, Skirms will full attack upgrades deal 2 damage to bomber cannons. Okay. OP. Skirms OP. MBL was right. This has been a funky game. Okay. Krebs will take out this castle. There's not enough... Uh, Villagers repairing to out repair five trebs. I don't think. I don't think it's possible to have enough villagers to out repair five trebs. Maybe. Maybe it is. But it's a lot of stone. Anyway, we're getting anarchy now for the Viper. Okay. So really wants to get to that Husk Carl spam. Which will be okay against the skirmish or be great against the skirmishers and good for raiding. So yeah. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Is Jordan gonna try switching to Cav, maybe? Castle's gonna stay up. Looks like for now. Over here, castle from Jordan, being very annoying. Over here at the top, yeah, Viper trying to get some barracks out. Really wants to start spamming Huskarls, but isn't really doesn't really have enough gold to get a proper spam going. Um, we talked about how important this area is, and yeah, Jordan putting on all the pressure. Viper forcing forced to repair his castle rather than take in the gold, as Jordan goes for a nice forward castle here. Oh. Doki. Yeah, Jordan is going for sergeants now. Makes sense. Instead of uh, a cab switch. Doesn't need it. Just needs something to counter the Huskarls, which he already has. So, yeah.
Maybe Sicilians could out repair five trebs. Does it apply to uh yeah. Okay. We don't think it applies to a repair speed. Huskar is diving for the trebs, villagers trying to out repair. This castle is somehow still up. I think Viper realizes if he loses this castle, he loses the game. This area is too important. This gold now exposed as well. Yeah, absolute mess here. Viper with the score lead though. Uh, he's kind of over booming though. I think he's panicking, thinking he's losing a lot of villagers, and he's on 150, which doesn't feel fantastic playing as the Goths. Um, obviously, with the spammable infantry, a bit cheaper, uh, so don't need as much uh, economy. Yeah, Jordan just happy to spam skirmishers behind this. He's got his castle up, uh, but all the traps have gone down. So Viper holds for now, but he's out of stone, completely out of stone. Um, does he even have access somewhere? As Jordan lost his castle over here, but uh, sergeants will take out that tread at least. And Jordan has walled on this side. Okay. As I guess Jordan needs to start getting some trebs back out on the field. Okay, skirmishers and hand cannoneers uh, waiting for the Viper here, ready to hold another push. As we see hoardings for Jordan and siege engineers. Okay. Plus, girls doing some nice work over here. Um, sergeant coming in for a one sergeant raid as Jordan has walled the middle. Nice. Okay. They have extra pop space. He hasn't been capped yet. That's true. Almost there. Almost there. Mm. Wonder will Viper go for the two petard, two petard Huskarl push into Jordan's base. Anyway, Viper with an absolutely insane hold on this side. How did he manage to keep the castle up? It was crazy. As now Jordan might lose this castle, and he's out of gold as well, or out of stone, I should say. Um, stone right here but yeah again this is important this area <laughs> is important um okay so viper doing a good job now prepping with uh, two trebs looks like this castle will go down i think both castles might end up going down as okay viper with the last attack upgrade coming in he will just lose all these huskarls directly to the sergeants but the huskarls are faster and might just run past and yeah, Jordan doesn't really have the mobility to be chasing Huskarls around too much. Um, hey. Viper taking stone somewhere. Where's he taking stone? Down here, okay. So Viper with a bit of stone left over, but this is sketchy. Not enough villagers repairing. I think he needs to drag some villagers off uh, gold. Castle goes down. I think Jordan's goes down as well. Maybe not. Five on stone for him. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If sergeants get these trebs down, it might be the game. Uh, one more shot. No. No, Jordan keeps the castle up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Husk girls charge in. Gonna try to take out the repair villagers, but uh, yeah. This treb goes down as well. Disaster. Jordan holding like a beast after Viper held like a beast. Clutch save. Absolutely clutch. Yeah. So, yeah, nice. Viper's still with stone access, though, so he can maybe drop another castle a bit further back. As now we have light cab from Jordan. Okay. Dealing with the raids here, and the villagers, I guess, will try to repair these trebs. Uh, so, yeah, Jordan will build up his army again and go for another push. Gonna wait to be pop capped, I guess. Viper has teched halberdier, though. Getting scale barding armor as well, so maybe he wants to go for some light cab raids of his own. Um, okay. Both players may be realizing that this is uh, going to come down to a trash war, but remember, Viper got the five relics. He has the five relics already, so yeah, you can already see the gold loading there, so maybe long term this is going to be good for Viper. Just needs to hold, wait for Jordan to run out of gold, um, and maybe he's going to be okay. As Huskarl are being annoying over here, Jordan needs to finish these walls. Probably ran out of stone while he was building as the Huskarls get in. And maybe Viper going to take a win here. Uh, it's going to be so irritating for uh, for Jordan to deal with these raids. Hey, Light Cab run in. Not really in enough numbers to be too annoying. As Viper goes for quick walls. Doesn't quite get them. But uh, I think he's fine. 154 villagers really feels like too much. <laughs> with cheaper units as Hussar on the way for Viper as the Goths. Okay. If he wants to go for some raiding of his own, I really think he needs to delete some bills. Um... All right. As Jordan does lose his castle down at the bottom. Okay. Krebs firing away. Skirms, hand cannoneers, huskarls. 
against just a big ball of, uh, well, few skirms and some fully upgraded sergeants. But I think Viper can take a fight here. Okay. Is there a hole here? No. Okay. Let's see. Blood cap spam for Jordan are going to be pretty good here against this army as Viper goes for another castle. Bit sketchy. Bit sketchy. Jordan did a good job keeping his uh, trebs alive here as he's gone for a donjon. Okay. And yeah, Viper being pushed back so can't go for the castle there. Didn't have enough army really to support what he wanted to do. I think he needed more hand cannoneers. Yeah. I think hand cannoneer Huskar is the way to go for him as there's. What's our raids going on? No, those are houses. As Jordan finishes the walls over here. Okay. okay. I guess sergeants do better against hand cannon because of the bonus damage. Bonus. I guess so. Still, I think they're going to be pretty hard countered. Um, but yeah, it's a good point. Jordan's selling wood now for gold. So yeah, missed his win though. Missed his window to get the win. We talked about that at the start. And maybe now the game is going to swing in Viper's direction. Especially with the relics. So, yeah. Felt like Jordan was pushing. That was the window. But it's kind of shut now. As Jordan's going to go for an attack in the middle. There's Huskarls on the front here. And Jordan doesn't have his sergeants there yet. And it's going to be awkward for them to get past here. As he notices the Huskarls. Okay. Huskarls should get cleaned up here. Uh, without Jordan losing any traps. Okay, so Jordan realizing he's gonna lose this side, so has to try and make something happen this side. Yep. Halberdier hand cannon, a few Huskarls chucked in. Pretty tasty. Did Jordan get arrow slits? I have no idea. Feels like Viper's gonna take this. Yeah, looks like it. Looks like it. Okay. Big push in the middle now for Jordan as the hand cannoneers come around from the back. Skirm counters everything here, so let's see. Castle might go down. Krebs might go down. <laughs> there was a single house. Oh yeah, yeah, he's stopping this. Okay, Krebs are going to go down. This might be the GG moment. Uh, Jordan being raided. Uh, yeah, feels bad. Feels bad. Viper on 123 bills. I don't think he lost a lot, actually. But, um... Yeah, raids are going to help him get more units out on the field. And he's now sprinkling in some Hussar. And it's Viper's game. Viper's game. Uh, I think I saw a Bombard Cannon earlier. There was one. Yeah. I think Viper had a Bombard Cannon. It went down to Jordan's... Um, went down to Jordan's... Skirms. Uh, we were informed of the fully upgraded Skirms doing two damage to Bombard Fantastic game.